Hey YouTube, uh, this is Blueberry7497 here and I'm back with another tech video. So it was just announced, uh, I believe yesterday, that the official OTA for Android 4.1.1 uh, had come out. And uh, after months of, or not really months, I mean uh, after weeks of waiting, it's finally here for the Nexus S. Um, so uh, it was released yesterday, I am in Southern California in the United States and I am running um, Android 4.1 and uh, I mean I'm sorry 4.0.4 and my build number is IMM76D so uh, I read around that it was only available for 74D but as I'm running 76D um, it's uh, apparently available for it so I just wanted to check my uh, updates as I've been doing for the past hours just over and over again and I saw that I had an Android 4.1.1 system update and I was really excited so I had to come here and uh, hurry up, film a video and share it with you guys so here it is it says this software update will upgrade your Nexus S to Android 4.1.1 or 4.1 Jelly Bean which improves performance and responsiveness system wide press the search key from anywhere to search on Google and get suggestions from Google now Organize your home screens easily when they're packed with apps and widgets. Expand notifications with a pinch and get more info and take action. Swipe within camera to easily view and share your photos. Jellybean contains many more features and improvements. To find out more, please visit this website. So here it is. It's 114 megabytes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. 114.4 megabytes. Uh, it's 1106. This is AM. And uh, here it is. It's just going through and verifying. <sighs> so I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I was just I was really excited to get this because I've been waiting and I heard it it was released yesterday and I uh, a, a few hours be well not a few hours uh, maybe like an hour and a half ago or so or an hour I did a factory reset and I don't know if the oh let's see it says system update uh, it's just saying install now or install later tomorrow if, so we'll install that now. And I'll chatter for a few seconds, and then I'll fast forward. So I did a uh, I did a factory reset about an hour ago, and that I did that to upgrade uh, just before the I got the update for ice cream sandwich back in December. I was one of the original people to get it, and um, uh, right before I did that, I I did a factory reset, and when I did the factory reset. Um, I got the update right after, and so in this case, I, I read on a, on a forum that he didn't. Uh, there was a guy talking about how he didn't want to have to do a factory reset. So I thought maybe I would do the same thing and do a factory reset, and I get the update. So I did a factory reset, and then here we are, about an hour later, and uh, I got the update. So I don't know if the factory reset has anything to do with it, um, but if you feel feel like doing a factory reset, I mean, you have to reinstall all your apps, but that's um, that's really up to you. All right, so after enough chatting, I'll go ahead and just fast forward the video. Okay, so the update is just about done. The uh, little line is all the way connected fully to the other side. Um, oh, by the way, uh, I mentioned the build number, IMM76D. Uh, this was on 4.0.4. Um, if this means anything, I did a factory reset just uh, about an hour before I got this. I don't know if that is a factor. Um, oh, there's a new boot animation. Looks real nice. I like it. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the original Nexus One boot animation, just a little bit. Um, how it would flash with the, that X, and then it would uh, swoop in with the colors like on Gingerbread. Um, but anyway, uh, so the build number, um, and uh, this is also I'm, I'm running a the Nexus S, the GTI uh, 9020T. So, um, and I'm in the U.S. The only places I've heard of that have received this update officially are, uh, so now it's just optimizing on my apps, are um, uh, Canada with the GTI 9020T and um, uh, Pakistan, I read, um, was the first one to get it. Um, 
which is the GTI, uh, yeah, the GTI 9023, uh, I believe. Um, which the only difference is, uh, as far as I am aware of, is just uh, they have the Super LCD screen as opposed to uh, United States and um, Canada, and I, I don't know if there are other countries, but uh, the GTI 9020T having the Super AMOLED. So here it's uh, upgrading all my apps. So I'll probably just fast forward this too. Um, oh, I uh, um, I forgot to mention uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, the first update um, back in December. Uh, if you watch my other video, you'll know that, it, or if you read anywhere online, you know that it brought horrible battery life. Um, so I'm just hoping that uh, with ice cream with ice cream sandwich the 4.0.4 update, um, it brought a pretty good. Uh, uh, it was it was decent battery. I still think gingerbread had a, a lot better battery. So I'm hoping that Jelly Bean has a much improved battery. So uh, you can see there's the new Google now. Um, all right, this is uh, my first hands-on with it. So seems like it's a little. All right, uh, this is the first hands-on, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it looks uh, kind of laggy there, um, but you have this little this little array of dots. You go unlock the phone, um, and it's uh, connecting for my weather and everything. So here's a uh, oh, you get the new uh, Currents app and uh, Play magazines pre-installed. Uh, voice search for uh, Google, um, Google Now, and uh, the improved voice search. Um, so right now it seems a little laggy. It might be setting stuff up. I'm going to do a reboot. And if you guys want to see a, um, if you guys want to see uh, like a review video of me, oh, there's a new drop down notifications of. Uh, if you guys want to see a review or anything like that um, regarding this, um, just go ahead and uh, hit me up in the comments. And I'll be sure to do a review of whatever you guys ask. Uh, you know, be it uh, Google Now or Voice Search, uh, the drop-down notifications right here. Um, it's it's really it's up to you guys. Um, so as you can see, Android version 4.1.1. The uh, build number is JR03E. Uh, official update. So and we'll take a look at the. Uh, um, no, you know, I'll, I'll post a separate video regarding that um, that Easter egg. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Um, so go ahead and give me a, a like, subscribe for more, and uh, just hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or you want to see anything specific about Jelly Bean. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.